Hey everyone! Welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing one of the most important and deadly conflicts in Chinese history, the Taiping Rebellion. At the center of this conflict was a man named Hong Shu Quan, who would go on to become one of the most influential figures of the rebellion. So, let's dive into it. The rebellion lasted from 1850 to 1864 and was fought between the ruling Qing dynasty and a group of rebels led by Hong Shu Quan. The rebels were known as the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom and their goal was to overthrow the Qing dynasty and establish a new, Christian-based dynasty. He was born in 1814 in Guangdong province and was the fourth son of a poor farmer. He failed the imperial civil service examination several times, which was a major setback in his life. However, in 1837, he experienced a series of religious visions and became convinced that he was the younger brother of Jesus Christ. He began to preach his new religion, which he called the Heavenly Kingdom of Great Peace. In 1850, Hong Shu Quan and his followers launched the Taiping Rebellion, which quickly gained momentum and attracted thousands of followers. The rebellion was fueled by a mix of religious, economic, and political factors, and it quickly spread throughout southern China. At its height, the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom controlled much of central and southern China, including the important city of Nanjing. The Qing Dynasty, with the help of foreign powers, was able to regain control of much of China by 1864. Hong Shu Quan died in June of that year, and the rebellion officially came to an end shortly after. Despite the failure of the Taiping Rebellion, Hong Shu Quan's legacy lived on. His ideas about equality and social justice influenced later movements in China, including the Boxer Rebellion and the Communist Revolution. Today, he is remembered as a controversial figure who left a lasting impact on Chinese history. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content.